guys, welcome to my channel. I'm April Honey and today I have a little outfit tutorial for you. We're just going to be making a cute little jumper. Um, hopefully you guys like it. Let's get started. The first thing I'm doing is choosing this dress and then we're just going to get started right away with the denim part of it. I just splashed the whole thing in the main denim color. And I'm starting in the back and not the front. There's a good reason why. It's just a little easier to copy and paste when you start with the back. So we're going to go ahead and go with the back because it has this like little crisscross action across it. And then we're just going to add a little bit of shading to make it look a little natural. Because if you guys know, denim does look a little darker near the seams and we want to create that illusion. I did put one seam up one side, but don't worry, you'll be able to see it on both sides, not to worry. It's just that it if you do it on both sides, it'll be way too much. And then we're going to make this orange gingham um, outfit to go underneath the denim. The reason is because I'm trying to match Jeremiah. It turned out that when I made this pattern, I accidentally started it a little bit too high. I started the waistband a little bit too high. It was really easy to correct, so I just showed you guys how I did that rather than start it over again, which I would normally do. But just in case you guys make that mistake, I wanted to show you how to fix it. So with the gingham, I want one line to be on either side so that way it connects around the seam of the outfit. And then we're going to use the darker orange wherever the, the two oranges kind of connect. So we're using three kinds of orange two lighter versions and one darker version. And then where it meets, we're using the darkest version. And then I'm putting an ultra dark like collar on it. We're gonna copy and paste that over to the front and then we're gonna go and work on the front. We're just gonna take away the back seam and the back pockets and we're gonna put a little zipper front. I'm using this kind of washed out denim because I really would like, um, to put Jeremiah's picture on it because I'm currently hunting for Jeremiah. I'm trying to match Jeremiah, trying to blend in with the frog and hope that it helps me find him a little faster. I doubt that's going to happen. So you go from where your straps were on top and you connect them, bring them down a little bit to make the bib of it. If you don't want Jeremiah on it at this point, you would go ahead and put like a little pocket right there instead kind of like the back pockets, but you know, in the front, it's going to be a little bit bigger. You don't have to put Jeremiah, you can put like a frog or anything like that on it and it would be absolutely adorable. I also went with the white buttons along the top of the jumper as well and added in a little bit of shading. I used the um, mirror tool in order to do both sides equally for the eyes and the actual shape of the face and everything then turn that off so that I can make his cute little spots. And then for the sleeves, all I'm doing is carrying on that gingham pattern so that it looks, you know, cohesive throughout and that the sleeves match the body, especially because the gingham shirt actually does have gingham sleeves. And that is it. Thank you guys for watching. I know you guys can be absolutely anywhere on the entire internet and you chose to hang out with me for just a little bit of time and I appreciate you so much for that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this pattern. I really enjoy making it. It is the outfit. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.